Hi everyone, welcome to the session of Kafka. We will see why Kafka means why do we need a new messaging system? What is Kafka? A brief introduction. Let us start with the first thing that is why do we need Kafka? So in any organization, the analytics consists of three requirements. That is first, collecting the data from multiple resources. Second, to place that data to some centralized system where it can be processed. And finally, to use that processed data to generate some reports and analysis. I am taking the example of LinkedIn where you can see the different data sources like user activity, web logs, where the different users uses the website and click on different uh, links and the data is generated. Apart from that, they have sources like system logs and metrics collections where thousands of servers generate metrics and metrics for memory and CPU. The data from all of these resources is sent to some centralized system like Hadoop, Data Warehouse or any search engine or monitoring engine. After processing that data at this centralized system, the final reports are generated by moving that processed data to some another system. So taking all these source and destinations into consideration, you will end up like this. In the picture, you can see we do have multiple data sources like user tracking, operational logs, operational metrics. From there, data is being moved to the data warehouse systems like Hadoop, log search, monitoring and the data warehouse. In the picture, you can also see some arrows are unidirectional and some are multidirectional. So the problem with this is, first one is the obvious reason that is the network bandwidth. This will use a huge network bandwidth and secondly, your system administrator would have to take care that the, the data is being transferred properly and it is reaching to the destination properly so that it can be analyzed. So to avoid this mess, we need a single system from where everyone can get the data and the data can be sent to that system so that if any another system or you can say the destination or source whoever want to receive that data can use that centralized system. So our requirement is like this. We need a unified log system where everyone can send their data and from where every can, everyone can receive the data. What are the different solution do we have for this? Let us take the first solution as data warehouse. In the picture, you can see the multiple applications sending their data to one central logging services. From there, we are syncing that data to send that to some data warehouse like Hadoop, where it will be processed. But as we are not directly processing at the first level and moving our data to any another location for processing, the bottleneck is that we are not getting the real time analysis, which is in turn is causing these three major problems. The first one is the recommendation systems which can provide more relevant suggestions if it incorporates user activity earlier on, which means consider some user is clicking on some of the links on the LinkedIn web page. So if we are not going to analyze that data in real time, we are not going to provide that user the 
latest results okay second is the search systems consider tens of companies have submitted their requirements that they need a hadoop administrator at that time if a user logs into the account in the linkedin and they search for hadoop administrator jobs they will not see the updated results because we are processing our data to some offline data warehouse system and finally the third bottleneck is the security systems till we are busy in processing our data in the offline data warehouse systems in the meantime someone can already hack our systems and gather the confidential information so to use an offline data warehouse system for collecting the logs or any kind of data from any number of resources is not feasible because it is causing these three problems to us as a solution we can think of the traditional messaging system because they can process the data in real time but what are the problems with these traditional messaging systems like jms amq and rabbitmq the first problem is that they are not scalable to tbs of data there is no replication they process their data in the memory itself and as soon as the data grows their throughput will continuously go down there will be no replication factor their administrator will have to take care of the fault tolerance and all and final problem is that they have some standards means if a producer is generating some kind of messages there should be someone who can consume those messages for every single message that was being produced by the producer should have been consumed by the consumer if it is not the case the producer will face issues and it will not submit or publish any another message till the previous one is consumed this will cause problem whenever we say our consumer is under some downtime or and we are going to do some maintenance at the consumer part in that case it will cause problem another problem is that for a single queue there will be a single consumer so in case our requirement is that we need to send this data from this source to some multiple sources so that multiple destinations so that they can process the data at different parts in that case we will have to create multiple queues so that both of the consumers can consume the data from individual queues so we face the data duplicacy that's where we come to kafka which can provide us the solution for all these problems so what is apache kafka Kafka was basically developed at LinkedIn which is a fast distributed scalable partitioned fault tolerant commit log services by commit log service it means you can simply think of a log file where the data will be continuously written and in the same fashion the data will be read from the consumers that is in the first in first out format the functionality of publish subscribe messaging system by pub sub i mean that it is just like a broadcast system it will simply publish the messages it will not take any guarantee if anyone is consuming those messages or not if someone is consuming that is fine if no one is consuming the data will be there for a defined time period and after that data will be deleted automatically so what are the features that kafka provides us the first and the best feature is it is really really fast why is kafka fast you might have think that we need a huge amount of memory so that kafka can 
process the data very at a very huge rate but this is not the case the data is not being stored in the memory itself it is directly going to the disk you might be wondering how can the data stored at disk be accessible at a very fast rate so that's where the as in the new feature that is page cache comes into picture what is page cache you can simply think it just like your memory in memory whenever the processing will happen from the memory itself it is fast we all know that and when the processing or accessibility happens from the disk it is slow why the disk is slow it is because of the seek time because the seek takes some time to find out where our data is and finally we read that data but what if we avoid or remove this seek factor what if i am going to write the data sequentially to disk and writing the data in one series means i am writing the data sequentially and reading the data in the same manner there is no seek operations in that case the accessibility of that data will be really really fast so what actually this page cache is the page cache is a feature of linux where you can use your complete storage capacity as your as a cache means that consider you have a 30 gigs of uh, storage on your system then that 30 gigs of size will be used as a page cache and that will work just like your memory it will be as fast as your memory you might be wondering why are we not using the basic jvm features here why we are not writing our data to memory and then uh, the buffer limit reach, reaches then it should write the data to disk why we are not following that traditional thing the reason for is that when you write your data in memory and as soon as your buffer is full the data will be written to disk and after that the garbage collector will run which will simply remove the very old or unused object from the memory the first thing is the overhead of garbage collection in page, page cache we will not have that thing we will not run any garbage collection because we are simply writing our data to disk and the second thing is that whenever your memory gets full it uses some swap memory so we are also avoiding the fund of swapping memory as well so this makes the thing very clear that using the page cache will make the system really really fast another feature of kafka is persistent messaging we all know that the data is being written to the disk sequentially so the data we will not lose the data in any case retains all published messages for a configurable period we can configure this time that i need to store my data till seven days and after that kafka is allowed to delete that data high throughput due to the use of page cache mechanism the throughput will be really really high distributed and scalable scalable for pbs of data you don't need to worry about the size of the data anymore and you do not need to follow the standard dependencies like we faced in JM, JMS. So Kafka doesn't care if the consumer consume the message or not. It will simply publish and the consumer can consume at any time. So these are the features that Kafka provides us. So that was all about Kafka. Thanks for watching the session.